Welcome to the Fox Learn. Today we will learn how to use Task Parallel with Progress Bar Control. You must change the target framework 4.0 to 4.5. To begin, add a progress bar control to the project we have been using in this series. This class will act as the container that reports progress information. Next, we need to set up our operation method. The progress class is a generic class that accepts any custom progress reporting wrapper you would like to use when reporting progress through your application. We instantiate a new instance of our progress report class. Then, we return a task that does all of the work in a thread pool thread. 
We sleep for 10 milliseconds between each step to simulate a long running operation and we report our progress each step of the way. This is done via the iProgress instance we passed into the method and we pass through our instance of progress report. Now we will initialize the simulation data. After telling the user that we are beginning our operation, we create a new instance of progress, passing in our progress report class as the generic type. The progress class exposes a progress changed event that we can hook into. This event will be passed the instance of our progress report class that we created in our process data method. We then use the values it contains to update our UI. We then await the result of the process data and update our label to notify the user we are done. Of course, we must apply the async modifier to our event handler so that we can use await.
there is no reason to fear all of the new threading constructs in .NET 4.5, C Sharp 5. They will make your development life easier than you ever thought possible. What was once a development task reserved only for those with years of experience is now open to the masses. Thank you for watching this video.